Hello guys and welcome to Baby Chick update number 13. They're three months old. Molly and Pumpkin just got transferred to the big chicken coop this week. This is their second night in the big chicken coop and the first night didn't go that well because they didn't know how to climb up the house. Molly did but Pumpkin sat right here and went to bed right here and I checked on them three times and the last time I checked on them it was pitch dark and they still did not go up to the house. So Molly came down and kept Pumpkin some company. And I didn't tell you this, but I'm making a different video. And I'm going to tell you more about this. But my other chicken died. She was nine years old and she passed away due to a parasite and old age and arthritis. So. Yes, it's very sad, but I'm going to dedicate a special video and talk about it after my update. But Snowflake was really lonely, so I thought they're big enough, they're three months old, and they can defend themselves, especially the rooster can. And Snowflake wants some company, and she was acting very, like, alone when her roommate died. And again, she was nine years old, and... I'm going to make a separate video about it, but I had to transfer the food over to Teenage Food, so now the snowflake is eating that, and I have some oyster shells right below the red bucket attached to the wire of the coop, and that is for extra calcium, but I think this is such a good decision, even though my chicken died, I thought adding these two in right now was the perfect timing and I wanted them to get used to it and they were doing well. They're not being picked on just a little bit but a lot better than I expected. It was such a like fast decision because my chicken died and I wanted Snowflake to have company and they were getting too big for the box and it was the best decision ever. I didn't need to separate them. They just all love to hang out together. So I'm just so happy that they're living with my other chicken, Snowflake. They still kind of get afraid of Snowflake because she's really big. But I'm just so excited that they are adjusting to the coop really well. And... I think they like it. It's something new. It's outside. And it's not in the garage. And I'm so happy because it makes my life easier too. And I don't have to clean the box every couple days anymore because now they are living in a chicken coop. But I'm just so excited that that's their new home. Again, they're three months old and they love to just hang out in here and they did come in here before I moved them in here. They did know what this was. So now it's their permanent home except for the rooster who's going away in like a month or two. But Pumpkin is going to be living here, right? Yeah, I'm going to keep Snowflake company. But yeah, I had to clean all of the bedding out and in the coop because my chicken died and I didn't want to spread any diseases or like anything bad with my other chicken. So, yes. And it was really sad, but like I knew she was going to pass away. But at the same time, it was hard to watch. And she only suffered for 36 hours. But again, I'll talk to you guys more about it later. But how do you guys like your chicken coop. This is less than a day. I moved them yesterday night at around 3 p.m. and now it's Monday at 11 a.m. So it's been not even a day and they're adjusting to it well. And they moved in here Sunday night and they're just getting a hang of the outside chicken coop life. So that's pretty much the biggest news ever. 
my chicken passed away and adding these two chickens to the coop this week so yeah it's such a dramatic change but it needed to be done sooner or later and they're big they're three months old so i'm not worried that they're not going to defend themselves but i'm just so happy they look so good in here but yeah i have the water and the food and i'm just so happy that you guys are living together yeah you guys are so cute and snowflake loves to eat the food too um i actually caught them all three of them eating out of the same container at the same time so that means they're getting along really well and it is just makes me happy that i raised them to be nice and how snowflake accept accepted them as roommates right now because she was lonely and stuff so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next update or next chicken video so love you molly and pumpkin and snowflake so now i have three chickens and one rabbit so now i'm down to four animals so and then when I give my rooster away, I'll have two chickens and no rabbit. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.